second week of may getting ready to do one stand i wasn't planning on hunting tonight but i didn't really have anything particular to do and felt like getting out so i got 45 minutes before sunset and then 30 minutes of legal shooting light afterwards and as you can probably tell the gnats are already being being awful got about a 600 yard walk in i uh, located the coyotes last night once I'm set up, the coyotes, if they're in the same place still, should be on the timber on the right side. Uh, wind will be uh, coming out of the east. I'll be setting up on the west tree line. Coyotes will be in between. It should give me a perfect crosswind looking at them. We'll get to walking. See you on a few. One set of howls. <laughs> I had just shut the camera off, so I misjudged what time sunset was, and I wanted to give it more time um, before I switched over to vocals. I wanted it to be a little closer to, to sunset time. Just my experience, and I'm sure plenty of others that, you know, that period of time just before sunset, they start to get more vocal and a little more active being that they are generally pretty nocturnal. All right. Show you what this one looks like. What we got? Female? Female, but without pups. Looks like a younger, yeah, it's a very young female. Probably one of last year's, if I'm guessing. 
kind of been, <laughs> we've killed a few uh, females that have already had pups and I, you know, for what I do for the sake of, for the sake of saving some coyotes for later, I don't generally like to shoot those this time of year. But I mean, when they come out, we're gonna we're gonna take them either way, especially depending on who the landowner is. If they want them gone um, for hunting reasons or livestock or for whatever, for any reason, if any landowner wants them wants them shot, we'll shoot them. So, but uh, setup was perfect. I'll show you. Well, if you look, so over there on the tree line is where the gun is. Wind is blowing at me, so it gave me a perfect crosswind. Coyotes were in there which is where I located them at last night. Had a pretty good, I located them from the road over here. Had a pretty good bearing on what direction they were. I was worried they may have been a little deeper in. I wasn't really sure how far they would be, but even when I was running the prey distress, they couldn't have been, I mean, that one in particular couldn't have been that far because it wasn't, uh, it was that first howl. I only ran that one as Boone Lone Wine Howls and uh, it was here I let the camera run for two or three minutes and I, I hadn't shut it off for 10 seconds and I pull out my phone, look at the map just to double check where I'm set up and where I think they are and make sure I'm good with the wind and everything in case I needed to move. Uh, no more than look up and there it is just standing there. I'm going to get this drug out and all my gear packed up and back to the truck before it goes and gets dark on me. Forgot my headlamp so I'd rather not walk out in the pitch black. But There we go. Another one. Thanks for watching. I came from the mud.